No, I'm too old for TikTok. I watch TikTok reels on Instagram like an adult. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I get it a few days later. Yeah, a few days later. <laughs> yeah. Adult beverages are poured. The kids are asleep. Welcome to New Dad Game. It's a show about fatherhood, gaming, and new fathers figuring out their gaming lives. My name is Trevor, and I have an 8-year-old and a 6-year-old. And I'm Jeff. I have a 13-year-old and a 10-year-old. And every week we look to prove that just because you became a dad does not mean it's game over. Unless you own an Xbox. In that case, <laughs> it's all game over. Everybody, the That's sky it. fell. Abandon ye all hope. Nothing's going to work anymore. Phil but, ran away. He's not your friend anymore. Yeah, he hates you. Phil, look, I didn't want to be the one to tell you this, but Phil at Xbox there, he hates your guts. Not a That's fan. It. But uh, he saw your gaming history. He's like, you don't deserve any more games. <laughs> All right. So obviously this is a bit of hyperbole, but that's yeah. what the entire week was. Uh, how would you best describe it? Well, okay. Bit of context. Xbox came out a week prior because of rumors has started to circulate. Oh no. Xbox is going to start giving away exclusives. Um, they're yeah. going to start to release them on all platforms. And then it swirled out of control, getting out of hardware altogether. How would you summarize the furor that was going on around xbox like leading up to this announcement that just happened today oh everything was chaos man. like <laughs> the whole world was in shambles like everyone was saying i'm selling my xbox this mm. is it you know they're going third party i'm done the brand is nothing to me phil lied to me mm. all this stuff so everybody was interested in what was going to be set and so much so that they had to make a filmed podcast and present it almost like a nintendo direct yeah. kind of presentation right like so you you thought you'd be sat down by you know old old dad phil here and he's gonna give you a talking to <laughs> on what's gonna happen and what next up mom and dad are getting a divorce yes yeah. so <laughs> your mother and i first thing to say is lady xbox and i love you very much yeah <laughs> but it's just time that us and our game start seeing other people <laughs> That's right. it's not you we just have some things yeah. to work out so, yeah, the, the internet just went hog wild with this, which firstly, even if in the worst case of its rumors, let's say that every Xbox will no longer have exclusives. Fine. Right. Yeah. It, it's You know what I mean? Like there's not, it's, it's even still, it's sort of like that doesn't detract from you playing games, but okay, so be it. But even if that, that was what was going to be the case, um, in its worst case, it wasn't really that bad, but people just went hog wild they went nuts they got so upset over it to the point where i saw people saying well i sold my xbox yeah. there's no point anymore so be it and then we arrive here and <laughs> it was four games everybody four it, games four, four games it just makes you question so many things <laughs> like why this could have been a tweet this could have been an email hmm. why did we wait a week to get here the week is the interesting thing because it's not necessarily their fault. I think rumors came out, right? So I think what happened is that, hey, we're going to release some of the, you know, some of those exclusives, we're going to release them to other platforms. That leaked. And then everybody just jumped on it and immediate rage tweeted all about it. And then it blew up into its own thing. And they said, no, 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 just calm down. We're going to talk on Thursday. But as you said, it, he almost should have had a tweet. Like, look, we're, it's going to be these four games. Yeah, we're still Done. we're still we're still going to build hardware. We're we're still going to have some exclusives. Starfield is still only Xbox. Yeah, just Again, much much to do about nothing. Yeah, exactly. Just it, it calm those fears a little bit. You're like, hey, we'll have more details on what's happening, but really, it's four games that we're going to switch over. Yeah, Xboxes are still being made. Don't worry. Settle down. Yeah, so. they, people were worried. Yeah, and like I, even we were talking about it last episode. We we're like, well, maybe they do go with their. I don't know. Like, sure. Yeah, I. So, anyways, it, it's if anything for dads, gaming dads out there, like just always take news coming from Twitter with a huge grain of salt. 
because it's just it is a wild, angry echo chamber sometimes that just spirals out of control before there's any actual facts on the ground. Now, some of the, like the more some of the more interesting speculation to kind of spin it on a positive was their recommitment to hardware. Right now, th- now that could have been again. That's one of those far fetched, but you could almost see it type of ideas that look they go all in on cloud. They're really not going to do much more of hardware or kind of defocus, de-emphasize it, right? But in, in fact, it really seemed like they kind of recommitted to it. And not and how were you, you were describing the one update about them making quote unquote leaps and bounds for the next one, right? Yeah, they were saying that the next one would be the most technological leap this hmm. generation has ever seen. And I'm hoping that it's not so much in terms of power or graphics because they've always been the leader in that um, against the competition. I'm thinking, I'm hoping it's form factor, mm. like a handheld. Yeah. Okay, have all that Xbox, Xbox power in that handheld. Love of the Steam Deck here. <laughs> Switch is super popular. Why wouldn't they? Portal, PS Portal. Yeah. And, well, the Portal kind of showed gorgeous hardware, good potential, not a great implementation. I've seen a lot of no, those come I up know. for sale recently. I don't know if you've seen them on Marketplace. I haven't. No, no. Okay. Then. Not not very cheap yet, but they're probably getting there. But they're just sort of like, I don't use this thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, I don't find this very useful for me. But man, the next console beside, I imagine they'll have a marquee uh, or showcase console. It'll be like the X two or whatever silly naming convention they come up with now. But like moving into mobile, like to capitalize on some of the Steam Deck's popularity, that seems like an absolute no brainer. That'd be so exciting. Yeah, and again, they would help capture some of their Japanese market, right? Where they're not doing mm. so hot. Nintendo takes off. Even you know, PlayStation has trouble um, because they're mobile centric, and I think a lot of kids now will be mobile centric. Like they want to take the games with them and play on the go and do whatever they need to do. Hmm. Maybe that is an area I would love to see it. Yeah. I think that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> One loves to see it, but. Again, we wanted to close the loop on the story. Like we were super curious about where this was all going to land, based on the well, abs- yeah. the craziness of the internet, right? Yeah. Again, it's like the kids out at recess spreading <laughs> rumors and <laughs> chatter, and you're like, "Wait, what happened at school? Yeah. What's going on?" And you're trying to feed through them all, and like the legit people out there are, you know, flaming the rumors. Like they're like, "Yeah, yeah, this is all going to happen. I heard through this, and then it all comes to nothing." It all yeah, no, comes not into a- this. Not a damn thing, but all right. Well, hey, a few. I'm pretty happy. Like Hi-Fi Rush, I think was one of the titles. That's a fantastic game. I'm really happy to hear that other people get to play it. Like that, yeah. that looks like a stunning game. So really excited about that. Nothing. What can I say? Hey, Gaming Dead's out there. Did you have a hot take on that? Did you have a desire or wish? Do you have any fears about Xbox going forward? Reach out to us, newdadgaming.com or at newdadgaming. Now you had mentioned the Switch and a, it had a wild return from a switch title we hadn't touched for a while so oldest comes up to me on the weekend and says hey can we play some luigi mansions can we do luigi luigi mansions 3 yeah that's out of left field blast from the past i have no idea why he saw this he perhaps was going combing through cartridges and just came across it it's like hey this game yeah God, this okay. game holds up. It is so good, man. It's I beautiful. It's a beautiful game. Like it is well rendered. It's it's got some you know flair to it. I don't think I've ever beat it though. Even with Mm-mm. the kids, I don't think we ever. <laughs> I don't think we ever beat it. So I'm wondering <laughs> if you had or how far you got. Oh yeah, no, beat the whole thing uh, oh, with them too. We did it co-op the whole time. It's fantastic, and then had an absolute blast in all of their multiplayer stuff after the fact. So there's something okay. called. Their favorite one is like Scream Tower, where it's just either 5, 10, or I think even 20 level mansions. And every time it's a time boxed challenge. Hey, get like go to the various rooms, find 10 ghosts. Or, you know, collect this much gold or whatever it is. But as a family title, it's just fantastic. It still holds up so well. Like, I really can't recommend it to gaming dads enough. Because one of the fan- most fantastic conceits of it is the second player is what's called a gooigi so yes, it's it, yes. <laughs> it is a luigi made out of goo but has all the same capabilities as luigi and in so in with that uh 
The two of you are going against it, but if the goo dies, he just returns to the backpack to then quickly just kind of be able to get back out. So there's zero consequences to right. the death of Gooigi, basically. So if you have so good at this, like they really do capitalize on that co-op, like again, the child dad Mm -hmm. parent aspect. That's wonderful. Oh, it's, it's so genius. It's such a fantastic way to do it because it's, you get, you get to help, but if you die, it doesn't matter. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, so yeah, it was wild. So the the second part about the story, so that's interesting enough. Hey, reminder to gaming dads, if you have Luigi's Mansion three, go back and check it out. It is a phenomenal title holds up. What doesn't hold up is in that aforementioned uh, game mode of the Scream Tower, yes. is it's there is an online lobby. And it's it's classically mm-hmm. Nintendo. It's really good in that, yeah. like, there's no chat. There's no friends. Like, it's just some rando Luigi show up and you you all help. And it's a, it is a huge help, too. It's not just if you have two people, it's twice as hard, so you may as well just have one. Right. It's a legitimate help if you have more people, but it is dead. <laughs> It is, oh, no. it, it is just a ghost town. <laughs> There's no, we, we started, like, we tried like twice and we waited at the one time, I think it was a good like three minutes. Wait, I'm, that's not crazy long, but as far as like game time on the weekend, that's an eternity. In kid time, that is eternity. What are yeah. you talking about? Three minutes? <laughs> so, I, uh, it's a wild feeling, you know, because games, I suppose it almost harkens back to old days where games are very transitory. Big title comes out, a con- the new Contra game comes out, and you go and you buy it, and you bring it home, and you play it, and you beat it, and then you sell it, and life moves on, right? But yeah. these new titles kind of have these like grander type of, um, how, how would you even call it, like uh, visions for what they would be, and it's like this huge multiplayer, all this multiplayer, everybody's talking about it, everybody's getting on, lobbies are like packed to the brim until they're not and then you just have these like digital ghost towns which is like oh this is sad yeah that's just it though like they put in some of these pieces to try and build a community right they're like mm-hmm. hey this will add to the longevity of this game if multiplayer kicks off or this online component i remember going back to even just the old demon souls and luckily like some players play that but mm-hmm. the players that do play that are very like niche and like have spent thousands of hours in it. So yeah. when you call upon them as a mm. you know ghost in this thing, they'll just blow through the whole game <laughs> for you. Like there's no it yeah. like it, there's that part of it too. But when you know those lobbies shut down and start closing off, um, yeah, it's kind of sad to see. And part of that game kind of dies, especially if you're trying to get through a part and like that's a the online component is hmm. you know, pretty integral and they're like trying to do that. But <sighs> so I, I wonder if we can, so this is tricky because it's a, it's a massive, it is a humongous, massive spoiler near Atomica. I mean, how old is this game? It's very uh... old though. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if, if you ha- it's not as if it's on your wish list and you haven't thought about playing it yet. So if you ever wanted to play N- near Atomica, how do you say the second? Oh, near Automata. Auto, near so. Automata. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anybody, anybody listening that still is waiting to play near right. Automata, turn off the podcast <laughs> and return at a later time. Yeah. Okay, we're safe. Okay. So the <laughs> as I understand the ending, and you confirm it, I never played it. I saw this as a spoiler, and I, I just thought it was one of the most stunning gaming things in the world, is you go up to one of the final bosses, if not the final boss, and you are, you know, fighting him, fighting him, fighting him. And then, like, it's, it's next to impossible. But then, from the ether, like, from everywhere, like, these other people appear. And they're actual people, apparently. And they help you defeat the boss. It's like, yeah. wow, this is amazing. And then you beat the game. Hey, congratulations, player. Listen, remember how you were helped? Would you like to help somebody else in return? Would you like to return the favor? Right. Understand that if you do this, you lose your save data. All of your progress will be deleted. You will be sacrificing your game in order to help another player achieve what is almost unachievable without this assistance. Yeah. Okay, that <laughs> I mean, right? Like what? that's gorgeous. Like it's it, it is it's a type of thing that just elevates this whole medium. The connectivity of it, the uh, interactivity, the um, co-op part of it, like that's a stunning concept. Except, except now, 
unless they programmed in bots, that doesn't mm. exist anymore. Like no one's going to be there to do that. So it was a gorgeous, beautiful mechanic that was like time boxed to the moment. And you have to imagine now a lot of people probably get to that point and just don't beat the boss or have a really hard, hard time of it. Right. Well, yeah, you make a good point there too. And it kind of plays into that FOMO feeling when a new game comes out and you're like, no, no, mm. no I'm going to wait. I don't want to pay that much. I want to, you know, when it gets to the backlog, I'll, hop on with my kid and we'll go through it or whatever. But now they have so many multiplayer components that, mm. uh, yeah, if they go away, then you're not experiencing that part of the game, which is, again, that's something like Kojima level. Like, that is mm. like, oh, my God, I can't believe they did that. That is such a, like, a <laughs> mind-blowing thing. And it kind of flattens it a little bit when it's not there. Yeah. I, I don't know. I so the challenge I would have, it's like it to to be the most meaningful, it would be nice if it was only ever human players but they could always kind of grok it by just always having a couple computer people a couple I think bots had that a couple times when it's like tutorials and like Fortnite, and then you like discover <laughs> yeah, that they're just you? bots and you're like, like wait yeah. yeah you're not that good <laughs> no we didn't pair you with real people are you kidding me you're still learning <laughs> you got your training wheels on oh man so yeah it was all, all the bit of a wild tangent there but the it is wild to see some of these games kind of fall by the wayside but i just imagine it's part and parcel to it games will come games will go new ones will be there but for gaming dads out there uh for ourselves in our household revisiting luigi's mansion 3 was just a trip it's fantastic i think we're playing it he's requested to play it again this weekend oh so, wow okay yeah no he loves it he loves this game so replaying looking, it too so yeah that's awesome so looking forward to it. so everybody gaming dads check out there and you know Appreciate while well, you got it. May not be here tomorrow. <laughs> but a game that seems like it'll be here forever and ever and ever is No Man's Sky. These people just cannot help themselves releasing updates. Forever updates for all time <laughs> of this game. It's its own Roblox platform. Just updates on updates. Yeah. Now, so anybody who listens to this the day of release, uh, which should be on February 16th, this weekend is a free play weekend for this new expansion. So No Man's Sky comes out. They've released a new uh, update called Omega. It's a brand new story, new ships, new missions, and everything else like that. And if you want to dive in for the first time, completely free over the weekend to get a taste of it. Now, I'd seen some people misconstrue it that, oh, they've gone free to play. Mm. And I would think at this point in... I've never paid for... A monthly fee like i paid the initial launch fee i just bought the game and i've just had it forever and all these updates have been completely free given that that's the case you'd almost imagine at some point they'll what well, i'm curious what they were where they would go would they make it free to play and try to do some more transactional type stuff or just let it die i love Luigi, luigi's mansion yeah i'm not sure i wonder if they would do free to play just to promote their other uh, game when that releases you know like mm. hey look sample what we can do expect the similar for what we're gonna do with this next one or like hey we'll just make it you know cosmetics that you can buy or something i don't know but it's yeah. like I, I was even as you were talking about it i was wondering like are they throwing this out there with a free trial possible for you to play later on maybe as like hey look you can enjoy your starfield over there but <laughs> <laughs> but everyone hop in here we got updates yeah, come we to... got all this free stuff it's like you know what the real true space sim is let's go <laughs> <laughs> Trevor hop in the spaceship again. man I'm tempted I still have never beat it <laughs> have you still... played this thing in VR yeah it, it it's yeah, amazing okay. in VR it's because I bought I've, I bought the game multiple times so I bought it for PS4 I was a launch time buyer huge right, proponent yes. of it thought it was amazing yeah. um, it came out on PC and then at some point, I, got, I grabbed it during a Steam sale. It was like 20 bucks type of thing. And then, lo and behold, they released the VR update, which initially I played, I remember, in my PSVR. This is now... Like, yeah. <laughs> I've gone multiple places. I did it first in PSVR, which was amazing. Totally made that thing worth it at the time for the purchase. Uh, but then later, with streaming to my Quest 2 headset for my PC, once it was like uh, VR capable, also did the same. It's a trip. I, I'd thought about maybe for my new run-through just doing it in vr but that's See, a that's a lot of hours that's a lot of hours with a face something on my face 
that that is a lot of hours but you have updated along with the updates that they push out mm. <laughs> it's just like you've moved <laughs> along with the hardware and updated with it but yeah, yeah. no I, I offering a free trial again i was a purchaser of no man's sky way behind you mm. um but it was on a disc so my ps5 i can't play it and i, I don't want to repurchase it yeah but a free trial i might hop in and maybe i like it give it yeah. a taste give it I a know. taste see what's up said I'd be curious if it's the type of game I'd almost prefer my kids to get into. It's, it's yeah, like this. It's not? like this versus um, Roblox, basically. Yeah. At least in this one, like they're going around, they're building bases. Like there's actual missions. There's, uh, you know, play your own way. There's a lot of leniency for game preference. Like, what do you want to do today? Do you want to be a pirate? Do you want to be a builder? Do you want to race like go karts on a planet surface? Like, do whatever you want to do. Yeah. I think there's a complexity that would be a bit beyond them. Like, they're not going to be able to read and understand the various missions, though, at this juncture. Do you no, think it's, they, do, do you think it'd be something your kid, either of your kids would be into? Uh, my kids aren't really into, um, I don't want to call them story-driven games, um, but they're more <laughs> interested in the multiplayer of it. So mm. they might like that aspect of it, but not want to go through the storyline, get the materials and stuff. They just want the stuff to play yeah. with your friends well from there so there there is the there's two modes so the, there is the uh, story mode and then you have to like build and you have to cr- uh, mine for everything but oh, there is the unlimited the creative mode where you just you oh, have infinite, okay you have infinite might, every, everything that that might be right up their alley then this is something that they can just tool around in and have a blast with their friends and yeah even man now, i'm gonna have to double check what the latest one is i remember as always with most of these games i just get to a point where it's like Oh, well, to get to that ship upgrade, you're going to need 26 Mitro Crystals and 25 yeah. Bug Bolts. And like, it's like that you're all, all you're, you're saying nonsense words. And yeah. each one of them represents like six hours of dad gaming time, oh, which no. is like three weeks. I yeah. just, I just can't, <laughs> I, just, I just can't be bothered. I remember the last time I got into it, the creative mode did not allow you to actually finish the story. So oh, you, I hope they updated that. That's, I'm really hoping it, man, because I just can't. That or like, I, I'll, I'll, I'll see what the punishment is now for cheating on the PC version. Because <laughs> if okay. I could just give my, if they have a console, because I just can't, I just can't do that grind, man. I just, I, I butt up against it so often. Like with Pal World, even like I, I had a phenomenal time. I was really enjoying it, right? And then it just got to that point where it's like, well, now you need 16 PAL crystals. You need to match that with PAL souls yeah. and whatever, whatever. All these currencies and, and they like, all work together <laughs> or against each other. And you're like, wait, no, I need that thing to make that currency. And now I'm splitting that. And now this is yeah. a job. I, like, I work every day. Like, I don't need to work in my games. Yeah, that, that, that is a side tangent. I, creative, I, saying it out loud, I think creative mode, that's kind of interesting. I might introduce it to my kids and see what they're thinking. See if I can get them off of some Roblox for, but but a small second. I mean, it'd be worth a shot. The first world I tried out, though, I was on this toxic planet and was dying immediately. Does that still happen in creative <laughs> mode, or are you safe <laughs> well, from be, all the radiation? You you wouldn't have to mine anything. You'd be able to just like repair your ship immediately. So you'd you'd be able okay, to hop good. off. Okay, yeah. yeah. I was like, uh, health was dropping. Everything was like, oh, oh red alerts everywhere. <laughs> like diving into a cave, trying to mine whatever I needed to mine. <sighs> so PSA to Gaming Dads, if you catch this in time on the weekend of February, uh, I, th- I don't know if it starts on the 16th or 17th, but it's free play for a while with No Man's Sky. If you haven't gone to the great beyond, do check it out. All right, and lastly was a... Nice little story, Jeff, of our dystopian future <laughs> where there is no talk, there is no communication, there is no bonds, it is just phones, just phones and people. So yeah. you took, and it all starts with you taking your kids skiing. Yeah, so I decided, like a chump, to volunteer. <laughs> <I got fooled. laughs> to volunteer for my 13 year old's ski trip. And I'm like, okay, like this is kind of. You know, his last year, I will put my name in the ring. And then they mm-hmm. selected all these parents to go two hours away to a ski resort and ski all day and come back. And I knew what I was getting into. I was selected. I'm like, okay, at least I get to ski. This is great. Mm-hmm. But the part of it was being on the bus for 90 minutes, two hours, 
with grade eights and grade sixes. <laughs> just which, like, which oh, is every, every, every dad listening is just immediately like, oh, no. Like, <laughs> right? Like, I can barely deal with two kids in the back that just pester each other just that, for the sake of it. They're like, you know what? We're in close quarters. I'm going to pester you. Yeah, you, have a, you, have a, you have a hard time with those two, and you're legally required to care for them. <laughs> right. <laughs> what a bus full of them. Yeah, so this was one trip where it was just, it was chaos. Hmm. And But what was funny was that every single student had a better phone than me. Um, and <laughs> everybody was... Nice phone, Gramps. Nice yeah, Nokia. I'm taking out my old iPhone XR. They're like... Yeah, okay, buddy. And they got 14s and 15s, Pros, whatever, Samsung, mm. 17 lenses on the back of the thing. Um, and they're all, like, sharing, you know, movie clips and games and, like, like crazy controllers attached to them. <laughs> Probably some of the attachments that you have. Yeah, hey, there we go. I'll, and, be, I'll, um, I'll be right at home. Yeah. So they're all going, you know, back and forth with each other. And then I'm sitting next to my 13-year-old that, like, honest God, it's like... Like the cinematography of it just like slowly turns to me, right? It's like seeing all these phones out there, all the games happening, and, and they're saying, Dad, can I use your phone <laughs> to game? And I'm like with this little rickety contraption, and I get out, like, listen, the battery is like already half dead. I charged it an hour ago. I don't have any space left. I don't know if anything runs. You can't play like they're playing Resident Evil 7 or something. Like, I don't know what mine can take now. Maybe it's Slappy Bird. I'm not sure. Oh, but nothing Lord. works on this thing. So it was one of those like, oh, man, you're not the cool dad. <laughs> so, like, so, so how dystopian are we talking, though? Was it like every single kid that just like staring down with like light well, beaming in their face? Was there at least some nonsense going on like oh, as should be expected with kids of that age yeah so there was a there was a variety i don't want to paint like a bad picture but like okay there's right like some kids were reading books on their phone right so they were like honestly right. got text but you know the phone was like half a tablet probably like your new phone <laughs> just like yeah i can read this this is a book um but other kids were doing like collaborative games oh, that's mm. what made for a lot of noise, right? Like, uh, I don't know if you ever played Heads Up, where you have to, like, guess the uh, character Yeah, 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 yeah. They have Beats Up, which you have to guess the song. Hmm. So there's song lyrics and stuff that you have to go through, and all the kids are yelling, whatever, and they're having a blast. So, like, okay. it does create, okay. like, a, it, it's a tool for enjoyment, right? Like, so it's great. It works. gives this old dad a headache. And then I look, like, again, this ancient antique phone. Mm from six years ago which i got uh it doesn't work can't use my, my my phone can't handle games son but i got a i got a book of mad libs here you want to <laughs> give me a what's a noun new phone okay uh what's an ad adjective lousy phone okay oh, it's, it's just, <laughs> what's a verb break your phone <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much like, hey, let's play uh, like out the window and count cars or something. I felt yeah. so old, man. Like it was just not a good experience. Oh, have, them, have them be bored. No. Oh, I imagine that's it's coming for me. I imagine. Wait, do, you, do your kids currently have phones? They do, but they're the hand me downs, so they're worse. They're like okay. iPhone seven and eight, I think. So basically, like they have to and just just for calls, basically then. Yeah, uh, calls. Uh, again, my 13-year-old has a cell phone plan, so hmm. they can be out and we can check on them or whatever. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's just YouTube. It's YouTube and maybe Geometry Dash, which apparently is still a big hit amongst the kids. Nice. Um, but yeah, that's basics. That's all okay. it gets. Yeah, it's, it's just a fight I'm getting ready for where it's as much as I think every parent gets up to about that age and it's like, well, I'm going to fight the good fight. My kid's not going to have a phone. And then they turn <laughs> like 12, 13. Yeah. And, like, and you're kind of just defeated. Yeah. And it's also like, you should learn the tools that you're going to use every day. Right. Cause mm -hmm. I use my phone every day. Um, I do find it funny as, you know, maybe when we were kids and we would have a game boy, mm -hmm. um, we would hide it in our bed and stuff. And when their parents, Oh would yeah. Yeah. So now it's with a phone. So like, <laughs> 
I've walked into my kid's room, even my 10-year-old, right? Mm -hmm. And I know they've been on the phone because I can see it through the Wi-Fi data. Mm -hmm. And um, my older one figured it out and switched to cell phone. We've had that conversation because uh, they go over their data limits that way. <laughs> but my 10-year-old would be like hiding it under the pillow with mm -hmm. like the light. You could see the light through the pillow sheet. Like, <laughs> like okay, <laughs> it's on. And they're like... I don't know what you, why why are you in here, Dad? And I'd be like, okay, you're on your phone, right? Like, no, I didn't bring it. To, okay, uh -uh. yeah, it's here. I haven't been on. I haven't been on it though, and it's warm to touch, right? Like, <laughs> just like it's still, it has music from the game still playing in the background. Yeah, well, yeah. well, we have. I think we have YouTube Premium, so the video would still be going. <laughs> Or they've downloaded the videos to get around mm. the Wi-Fi stoppage. So yeah, that it's it's smart. just a tool for you know what the kids use nowadays. And you're coming up on that age. I don't know. It, it comes quick, man. And Come whether back. or not it's a hand-me-down or a brand new phone that these kids have that are way better than mine. Well, my my oldest is eight. He's already asked about it. I mean, so the, and I'll say like I'll you know I'll take my there's a few kids and it, it's, it's this isn't a judgment type thing, but we'll be at uh, I'll take my youngest to gymnastics and he. A bunch of the kids there, like they'll at, least, at very least, and they'll be like these are like four or five year olds, and they'll they'll be using their parents' phone for now that that I have no problem with because that, that's a distraction thing. Like, look, we're in a confined space, we got to be here for like an hour. Right. Like, let, let's just like let us uh, just have a calm moment and then distract them. I pulled that move a lot, especially at restaurants back in the day. Yep. Like that that was a go to move. It's like, look, here's like here's a video. I'd I'd like to eat. So here's a video. <laughs> I'd like to rest, please. I'd like to eat and not get kicked out of another restaurant. So here's a video. <laughs> We're just yeah. going to all acknowledge that this is not great, but it's a certainly great tool. So, so I'm not putting, I'm not casting judgment. I've been there. But it's just the thought that it's like even as of four and five, like six, like they're right, they're in the mix. They know what these little squares are, which is like nonstop entertainment. Yep. So it, it's coming quick. I, I'll say this. I'm pretty heads up. That's pretty cool. That that's pretty, kind of exciting to hear that they are still, they're using technology, but they're doing it in a way that's communal, which is kind of nice. Yeah, they're still being kids with it, right? Which was nice to see. They weren't, you know, they, they were playing something that they could involve others and have a blast with. And yeah, it was yeah. it was good, but it was yeah, it was a little <laughs> bit chaotic. For it's like this old dad. Hey, there was a lot of other parents that didn't have to go. That are th thanking, there singing, you go, singing right? your praises. Thank you, you for not me all. <laughs> yeah. All right. With that, everyone, we will wrap it up there for the week. Thank you, everybody, for listening. This has been New Dad Gaming. If you like the shop podcast, you can find us on all the major podcast networks. So iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Caster, anywhere where you get your podcast, just search for New Dad Gaming. If you did like to show a subscription and especially a rating or comment, really helps boost the signal as we try to grow out and meet as many gaming dads as possible. Speaking of that, one of the greatest parts about this has been the interaction. Speaking with other gaming dads is always our favorite part. Getting your emails, getting your tweets, any other way you can reach out. So great to hear from you. So please do so. Reach out to us at our website, newdadgaming.com, or find us on our socials at newdadgaming. Uh, last week, I think I streamed six hours on Whoa, at, yeah. playing Marvel Snap. Like We were just in the zone. We had a fantastic chat going on uh helping out so join join me on there so this we stream this show live besides the podcasting and also i do my try to get on at least once a week for gaming at new dead gaming podcast on twitch everybody thank you once again so much for listening and until next week my name is trevor and i have an eight-year-old and a six-year-old and i'm jeff i have a 13 year old and a 10 year old and once again we'll say just because you became a dad does not mean it's game over